Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, whether you're watching this in the morning, afternoon, or in the evening. I'm glad you're here. If you get a chance and are so inclined, please hit the subscribe button below and hit the bell notification if you'd like to be notified when I upload new content. Today's video we're going to jump into is Tucson small fixed blade knives. Now this is something that came as a complete surprise to me when I first started down the rabbit hole of fixed blade small EDC knives. And what I was trying to do was come up with a solution or to see if a chickadee, which had kind of caught my eye ever since Lefty EDC had been talking about it, would be something that would update my carry and if it would just to be quite honest with you, be something that I would actually carry. So I was browsing around looking at small fixed blade knives, did not even know that such a thing existed, and was spending some time in Justin's site, whitemountainknives.com, and came across some Tucson's. And when I said came across some Tucson's, I came across several Tucson's that I think would give anybody when they're in stock and they will be back in stock because I've seen these come in and out of stock a couple of times since I picked them up but they're fantastic little small fixed blades so you can see if a small fixed blade is something that you want to add to your everyday carry what I do is I typically carry a small fixed blade like I've got this one set up on my belt or I will carry it like I have this one set up as a pocket dropper. So there are a couple of different ways you can add a small fixed blade. By the way, when I do a pocket dropper, it's going in my left uh, pocket. When I wear it on my belt, I wear it right on my appendix. But this is the first Tucson that I came across when I was looking at small Tucson knives. And this is the Tucson uh, TS-150. The TS-150 is a little S90V bladed knife. It is Wong Designs. I don't know who Wong is, but he designed a little stabby knife that to me looks very close to, but a little bit larger than, or smaller than, the Chickadee. So that was again what I was ultimately leading to, but again, I did not know how a small fixed blade carried in my left pocket or carried on my belt, how often I would use it, how it would change my ADC game, and I had no idea the rabbit hole that it would lead me down and the changes that it's made to my ADC game. I carry a small fixed blade every day now when I pack up. So whether I'm going to the office or whether I'm going out. So let's give you an idea of how small this little knife really is. So this knife comes in at a whopping four and a half inches overall with a blade of right under, right over two and a quarter and a little handle of two and a quarter. But where you've got this forward choil, it gives you about a two and a half inch area to rest your hand. So when I use this little knife, I'm typically opening packages, I'm cutting a string, I might be cutting paracord, but I do find myself for my daily EDC task, which is typically open in packages, that I'll reach for my small fixed blade first. And the great thing about this little knife was I bought it for under $50. I want to say it was $45, $47 before I put in the Lefty 10 code because he's droned it into my brain and I can't think of anybody else's codes because Lefty is such a influencer slash marketer slash bullshit artist who's been very effective in getting inside my head but this little knife um came out i want to say right around 42 43 dollars shipped to my house and it was a very inexpensive way for me to get a high quality razor sharp s90v long design small fixed blade and see you know what i thought about it the sheet that it came with is great, has no rattle. I added the little strap. Um, you can get these on Amazon, a two pack for right around 12 bucks in any color you want. Um, so that was my first small Tucson. And I'm gonna show you several small Tucsons because the same day 
that I found that little guy, I was looking and found this Tucson. This is also a long design. This is the Tucson uh, 247, I think it is, the TS-247. And it's a long design, an M390, that's a little bit larger, and I'll put all these up beside each other at the end of the video, but this is a little bit larger than the uh, 150. And if you look at it compared to the Chickadee, it's a little bit larger than the Chickadee. Um, but again, a very small fixed blade that I've got set up to wear on my belt, but I've also carried it with an ulti clip as a pocket dropper. This, guys, is extremely sharp. Again, M390, nice jimping. It doesn't give you, it gives me a full three finger grip. You know, if you've got super sausage fingers, um, I still think you'll be able to get a three finger grip. You do want to keep your hand inside of this here since it doesn't have a choil like the 150. But it does have nice jimping. It is very sharp, nice drop point. Um, and again, I find that I, when I'm carrying this knife that I will use it to open the packages to do those small tasks that we pull our folders out for. Don't make any noise. Pop it out of the sheath and right back into the sheath. There's no rattle, great retention. One thumb out, one thumb back in. And that's the TS-247, which again was in that same price range on White Mountain Knives of under 50 bucks. Maybe it was 52, $53 before I put in Lefty 10 to bring it under 50 bucks. And again, that shipped the same day the TS-150 did. Well, I continued looking around and I'd seen some others that were out of stock at the time. And one of them was the TS-253, which is this little guy here. And another one that was out of stock at the time was the TS-310. This is actually the 310. And this, if I'm not mistaken, is the 253. They look similar in blade style, but they are, one of them is called the micro, and one of them is the mini micro. This is the micro, and this one is a night morning design. You can tell that this one is more, they're all full tang, but this one has kind of the overlay scales where the others were more um, integral and part of the handle, so it does feel a little bit different in hand. But what you'll notice is the choil is built into the tang. The handles give you just enough rounding to really put that knife with no jimping here because it is kind of a swept back, odd American reverse tanto type of uh, design. But literally you can put your finger anywhere here to make cuts whether you're opening packages, again, those light duty cutting tasks are what I find that I use my small EDCs for. Um, but this one is in 14C28N. This one I wanna say came in about $47 before the discount. Um, deep hologram compound tanto flat here on the front. Um, just a really well put together night morning design in 14c 28 in after i put in the code i want to say this one came out right around 40 dollars it was a no-brainer for me to pick it up and bring it in as i was working towards my obsession with small fixed blade knives so the final tucson in this video and the final tucson in my small fixed blade category is probably one of the coolest i think it's a night morning design and it is the Mini Micro, which is the TS-253. It is an M390. And guys, this thing is tiny. We'll go back and we'll measure these others because I didn't measure this one. But this guy is literally out of the box, under five inches. The blade is pretty hefty at two and a half inches with a small little handle of two and a quarter up to the finger choil here you're right at two and a half inches when i carry this thing and put it in my hand it's got jimping right here 
which enables you to really get a tight grip on it if you're doing push cuts or cutting through any type of paracord or anything that requires a little bit more purchase. But then you can float your finger up here for opening boxes, for doing more detail cuts. And it is really just a cool little knife. And I've got this one set up with the clip that it came with. And I'll just put it in my left pocket just like so and drop it down just like that. So these two sun small fixed blades, I'm gonna pull them all out and we're gonna get some measurements because I didn't do measurements on these two. This guy here has a blade of over two and a half inches, a handle of right at three inches, the overall length is five and a half inches. This little guy here has an overall length of five and an eighth, has a blade length of right at two and three quarters. And if you use that little micarta handle, you're right at about two and a half inches. But if you take it to that forward choil, you're right around two and three quarter inches. So all these guys are very small, very able, little EDC fixed blades. Um, the knife that I was originally after and that I've since picked up a couple of different variations was a Chickadee. They're hard to get. Um, they're also quite an investment if you're not sure that you want to carry a small fixed blade. So whereas the Chickadee is one of the most fantastic little knives I've got in my collection in terms of fixed blades. These two sons are kind of a bargain value uh, entry level into that small fixed blade world. And I would say the TS 150 would be a great little knife to get started with because it is so similar to the, um, the uh, Chickadee in size. Um, and then you've got the TS, um, I think this is the 257, which is an M390, just a great knife. And then you've got the little, which one was this? The 310 in 14C 28N, and then the Mini Micro. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that little journey, kind of scattered journey, kind of rambling journey through my small two sun fixed blades. The reason again that I find them interesting is if you're not sure how a small fixed blade is gonna change or fit into your daily carry, give it a try with one of these two suns. I think you'll be very impressed with how often you use it. Um, and then it opens up a whole new world of a lot of different blades out there that are small, that are fixed blades that I've gotten to wear something like the Joey Ramon that I'm wearing today on my belt, a little chisel grind that was gifted to me from Tree Stab and Troy, hashtag Stab a Tree. Um, you'll just find a whole lot, a whole new world of knives, right? So guys, I appreciate you spending time with me. I appreciate it if you do uh, overlook the cat hair that's in all my videos. Appreciate it if you subscribe, if you like the content like or dislike if you like or dislike the content and most importantly please look out for the guy or gal to your left please look out for the guy or gal to your right look out for one another move forward with love in your heart and choose debate before you choose hate love y'all peace